just with this rink, um, how's everybody feeling in terms of comfort and home away from home? Yeah, I think it's very important to, to come here and, and get comfortable a couple days before we play here. And um, You know, it's a beautiful facility, so we're happy to play here and really lucky to play here. How do you guys kind of balance it? Because in one hand, it is difficult to be away from home. Like, you guys make that locker room your, your second home, basically. So um, to come here and you know not have some of those luxuries how does that balance for you guys yeah i think obviously our equipment manager and our trainer have kind of been over here the last couple of days and are just trying to eliminate excuses right we're we're here to play hockey and we have all the tools to do that so it, it's up to us to go out there and perform and no matter what rank we are in we're we're going to play the same so um second chance at the playoffs for you obviously actually it's no second yep. yeah because you had the one in covid year that you lost so um you know, what did you learn from that North Bay series last year that you can take into this year with you? I think it's just the the style of play and, and the speed of the game that, that raises during playoffs. Everyone's super excited and um, the energy levels are obviously up because the atmosphere. So um, just being ready for puck drop game one and, um, you know, kind of moving our momentum on from there, we'll be fine. Speaking of that energy, I mean, come Christmas, you guys were excited to get out of here and you know, take that break, and then at the end of the season, I think probably a little bit of the same. So now that you're here and every game is, you know, massive, um, is it almost a weight off your shoulders? Yeah, I think it's just the the time of the season everyone looks forward to, and um, like you said, there's it's every game's very important, and there's no room for really mistakes or or bad games. So um, we're just gearing up here for game one, and um, yeah. Uh, penalty kill is going to be important in this series. Oshawa has a very good power play. Um, so for you, kind of, I don't want to say running that unit, but you know, you're out there killing penalties a lot. So um, what are some of the keys that go into that for you? Yeah, I think obviously it starts off with just eliminating some of the penalties that, that we have been taking and being a little more disciplined. But when you're on the penalty kill, just having a plan and, and executing that. And, um, yeah, I think we're, we're second in the league on the penalty kill this year. So just kind of keep going with that and um, like I said have a plan and execute it. Who are you guys kind of paying attention to on the other side that you know you need to keep under wraps to have a good chance to win the series? Um, you know I think just some of their bigger names obviously um, Richie's a really high-end talent and um, just kind of make it hard on him all series long and obviously they have some some pretty good older guys I know uh, Roloff's a good player um, Butler same thing so um, just kind of key in on some of their some of their high end skill forwards and and uh, yeah make it tough on them. Um, so how much does this run like? What do, what do you look at this run as almost? Yeah, I think it's it's a culmination of my three years here in Ottawa, really four, but um, due to COVID. But yeah, I think it's just um, you know I'm I'm really looking forward to this and and having a good team going into playoffs. It kind of kind of feels like a rerun from from my first year. So. Um, yeah, just looking forward to it and happy to see what this group can bring. You look around the room at you know some of the faces, whether it's Mo or Pav, guys who are you know top end talents in this league, and then you have you know the I think it's seven to ten rookies. I can't remember the exact number, but uh, what is the makeup of this group right now? Yeah, I think throughout the whole season, I think people were underestimating us, and um, I don't know if we had really one superstar on our team and. Obviously, our management did a good job bringing in um, Pav and, and Logan, so two really high-end players in our league. and um, Yeah, they've really been a, a good help for our team and good ads. So about this team obviously getting used to this rink, uh, first day here, how does everything feel so far? The rink's a rink. You know, they're, they're all the same. There's no... With the way the structures are now and all the rinks are built the same, there's no... In terms of the actual rig, outside maybe of Peterborough, whether it be what you call any kind of home ice advantage, uh, you know, based on the facility in the rig. So, uh, you know, we've we've played here twice yeah. already. So, yeah. Um, for Oshawa, that's a group. Uh, one thing that jumps off the page is their power play. It's really good. They have been consistent all year. So. Um, what are the keys, kind of other than staying out of the penalty box, to take care of that? Well, that's the first thing: stay in the penalty box, and the other thing is uh, uh, be on your toes, execute. 
what do you take from you know regular seating meetings with them, and especially after you just played them twice in the last handful of games? They're the same team we are. La- we were last year. You know, they, the year before they were an older team that went for it. Uh, they regrouped this year with a younger team, and you know we we were the same last year. We we played some real good games. We played some games we struggled, um, but we got better all through the year. That's that's why I see Oshawa doing, and it's uh, it's going to be a bit of a vision of playing ourselves last year. And we know how tough we were in the style that we played against North Bay because we really didn't have anything to lose, and that's what we expect from Oshawa. They're well coached, and uh, yeah, we 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 have to be ready. Is there anything you've highlighted as kind of keys without giving away your entire script against them? It's it's not all through the playoffs. It doesn't matter who we're playing, but in this case, Oshawa. It's not about we're not going to spend as much time on us. It's about us. You know, we we we're going to spend the majority of your time on us, and and we know how we have to play. And like you say, the big thing in Oshawa is, is uh, uh, stay on the penalty box. Yeah. Uh, you've talked a lot. Like this team's older than last year, but it's still. A very young team, right? And we've seen injuries to, to veterans. So how important is it to have you know those young players to just be ready for whatever comes in the playoffs? Everybody has to be ready. Playoffs is a grind. The biggest difference in the playoffs you're playing the same team, so it's going to be a grind. There's going to be absolutely no secrets. Um, they're going to know what we're trying to do. We know what they're going to try to do. So it's going to be a grind. You need everybody. That's huge. You're not. You have no chance in the playoffs if if you don't have full team buy in. Um, I'll ask you quickly about your goalies because I think it's an area of interest. Uh, Max should be ready to go. You got Colin. Yeah. So, how difficult is it of a choice for you when you've got two guys who are red hot? Really, it's a great choice. Very lucky coach. Not many teams uh, at any level, any league uh, that has two uh, easy to make choices. I have.